Good morning. Um, so today I'm just going to have a, a quick attempt, because I'm a little bit late starting, um, at um, creating a snap of a Wales um, app. Uh, to just see if I can get that going um, and see how that compares to using a flat pack. Um, so uh, it's been a while since I've created a flat pack. So I'm going to have to read up, uh, especially as I used the last time I was creating flat packs, uh, snaps. It was uh, for Snippet Pixie, um, which has to be a classic confined snap uh, because it does various things at a fairly system level. Um, whereas with a Wales app, a desktop app, um, I should be able to get away with a strictly confined um, snap, which has slightly different syntax to some of the bits in the file. Um, so uh, how do we start? Well, I need to get a Wales app together first, I suppose. So back here. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I did a little bit of updates to that uh, flat pack one. So I can just fetch them. I did it on my laptop. Right, yeah, so I'm going to be stealing some of that information in a minute. Um, but otherwise, let's create a new repo because I made a mistake by using Wales Flatpak. Um, I'll just do something like Wales test. Um, and then I might add the Flatpak stuff to it as well as a snap. Um, might be worth comparing them, I guess, uh, for the same binary, see how it goes. So, Wales, got to remember how to do that now. Uh, I think it's Wales in it, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll call this Wales test. Yeah, so we'll do it to Wales test. Yeah, Wales test and Svelte. So that's the basics there. We have a very, let's do a pat, pat main, nice and simple. Um, and just Wales as the dependency, that's good there. And then we have the usual um, some 10 stuff, which is basically a spell app. Cool. Okay, so let's, uh, I believe you should do Wales setup, but I'm probably, I'm going to probably okay with that because I've done that already. Yeah, it's just checking, I guess. All right, yeah, so I should have done that first, but I've already done it anyway, so it's fine. Um, so nothing changed there, did it? No. So let's just build this and make sure it works. Okay, so I should now have a build directory with a Wales test in it, and I should be able to just run it. There we go, we have our little app. Hello world, okay.
Okay, right, so I want to um, do some basic stuff here. So I'm just going to grab um, from pack. I'm just going to kind of cheat and grab some of this stuff. So I am going to grab um, the diagonal what else? So on the make file. Which I'll adjust in a minute. Um, the README, I guess. Might as well. I'll just probably update it a little bit. Um, and I might as well take the flat pack manifest as well. I think I might put it in a different place in a minute. But yeah, we'll just take it for a second. So I am going to, I'm going to see if it's easier to partition these things off. So I'll call this flat pack. And I will move com to flat pack. Dot whales test dot yaml. Just change that all up. Whales that pack is now whales test. I can do that. So in theory, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a new app called with this ID using the known platform version 338, which uses its SDK. It's called Wales Test. It's got the usual window manager requirements. Probably could get rid of that Wayland because I'm not sure whether um, Wales actually supports Wayland yet, but we'll come back to that. Um, so the actual module that creates the app, Wales test, is we're doing a simple build um, and we're going to install from build Wales test into app bin Wales test. Um, and that sort is sourced from here. Let's do Can we do that around another way? Because it's a bit weird having the build system before that. Let's do that after let's, let's do this. This is where the source is. Then we're gonna build it. Yeah, we'll see if that works. It should be fine. There shouldn't be any ordering issues there. It is just YAML. Um, okay, so that looks okay to me. Now I've got a make file that I was tinkering with this morning and I need to change a few things here. So, change whales 
flat pack to Wales. Test again. I think it's my bad. Maybe the one there. Yeah. So I did a little bit of uh, stuff to make it easier just to copy this across. So the app is going to be called Wales Test. We're going to have an ID like that. The bin is going to be in. So the binary is going to be in build app. We know we're going to have go or source. The flat pack stuff is there. Um, so I want that to actually change to be flat pack. That. Um, and we have. So that's the make. That's what's going to happen. It's going to do the actual build. Then we have a TGZ. I changed it to TGZ instead of tar. Um, she said, just so that I can just do make TGZ because uh, I'm lazy. Um, and then it yeah, actually does it there. Then we have flat pack. So I'm now doing here flat pack builder and then I'm creating the output directory um, using the manifest as the input there. Um, and then you've got to force clean basically if you're going to rerun it. But that's all I'm doing. Um, and the binary is obviously a dependency um, as you saw in the manifest that I just did. So I'm going to do that. And then for running it, um, I'm, I've got like a this is the, the cheap way of doing a quick run of um, a flat pack that you are kind of just building on the fly. So uh, this will use the output from here, which is that, um, to run it um, with the manifest again as like a um, synopsis of what, what it's all about. Um, and then that's the actual app name uh, because it needs a command to run from within that directory. And then I've got the install that we were doing in the last video, uh, which actually does the build from scratch again, using the manifest and then does a user install. And then you can just do flat pack run com.enmjones.wales. Um, and then I've got my clean. So that's the tar, GZ, the build directory, the front end build directory, the output of the flat pack. And then if I really want to clean everything up, I can get rid of the node modules and the cache folder that flat pack uses as well. So that's cool. I think that's okay. I think that will do the do. So what do we have here? So I should be able to do and make clean. Where's the, let's just check the night modules here. Yeah. So make clean all. Got rid of all the node stuff. Got rid of the build artifacts for the front end. There's no build directory. There's no flat pack stuff. Well, we haven't done it that yet anyway. Okay. So I should be able to do a make. Uh, so that's created the build. If I do another make, should just do nothing. Good. If I do make flat pack. There you go. It's created in theory. The dot flat pack temp. Yep. Yeah. And now I should be able to do make run flat pack. There we go. So that's a flat pack one in now. Good stuff. 
Okay, a uh, quick look at the readme. Packaging and Wells app. should do. Okay, let's uh, save this off. Oh, yeah. Let's do a main claim first. Just in case. That's good. Fine. Demo app and right pack. Right best. Ready. Right then, let's um, quickly push that out. Uh, yeah, Stick that in there. And that's fine. I can't, yeah, I'll do a licensing later. Need to do that. Again. And then we're just going to commit it off, which is, yeah, yeah it's just the same on both sides. I was using the wrong one, but it's the same stuff. Pretty much. There we go. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Okay. Fish sorted. All right, so we have 
a repo on GitHub. Okay, Snapcraft. And docs. Right, so I have Snapcraft because I needed it for Snippy Pixie anyway. Uh, so Snapcraft in it. Okay, that's good. So it creates it in a snap subdirectory. That's good. Yeah, see, the thing is with um, snaps, so you get to create, uh, you, you add all the information you need so that it just shows up as it should on the snap store which is good okay All right then let's get started I'm not, I've only got a lot of time, but we'll have a go. Uh, Snapcraft. Knit. Okay. Uh, should we do this in Go and I think, just so that we have uh, a nice bit of YAML highlighting and stuff. Oh, it's updated again. So <laughs> you can tell because it's a bit slow. All right, it's good. Good. Right, that's fine. Let's get to the snap. I want core 20. It's no use doing 18 anymore. And we're going to call this Wells test. Yeah, I'm not going to register things, just not at the moment. Uh, do -do -do. That's fine, don't need that. Actually, should I leave all this stuff on? It is a demo thing, isn't it? So yeah, I should leave all those comments in. Do they do summary single oh, I need a picture for me using snap? Okay. Okay. 
Actually, that's probably more apt here. Yeah. Wales demo app using Svelte front end. Okay. Right, so at the moment, yeah, we'll leave it at Devel. Um, and it's in dev mode at the moment. That's just so that it makes it easier when you kind of just pin it together. All right, so we're going to call it Wales test here. So that's the actual app. That's like the the binary, effectively. That's what you're going to call. Um, and plugin. Yeah, so this is where it's going to get fun. Now, I believe... should be able to do a go but okay go let's see okay Let's do a quick. I wonder what the. I wonder if nil is just the same as doing just putting in the source or whether they have to use the dump for that. So. Uh, Snapcraft. Help. That's right, isn't it? Yep. And nil. See what that does. This way, have the nil plugin for core 18. Okay. No source. Okay. I want Before I do the go stuff, I was thinking I'd just do it into the binary. So let's do dump base core 20. Great. So this plugin just dumps the content from a specified source. This plugin uses the common plugin keywords as well as those for sources. For more information, check the plugin topic, blah, blah, blah. In a case where dumping the content needs some mangling or organizing, one would take advantage of the core functionalities available for to plugins such as file sets, stage, snap, and organize. Okay. I have some learnings to do. Oh, I don't have the time for it. So, should we just go ahead and well, it's interesting actually because there's a NPM as well.
I wonder if that will cause similar problems to flat pack where you've got two different things going at the same time. Hmm. I am out of time though, so I did start rather late. I think this might be something to do on the next time. Because I'm going to have to look at these things. And let's just quickly check. Yeah. Right, okay. I think I'll probably end up using the Go plugin uh, so that the Wales um, tool can basically be installed and then used in the build. Um, and then just as part of the build dependencies, I'll install the NPM package. Uh, one node, no JS package, uh, which is easy enough with Snapcraft. Okay, oh, all right, I'm definitely out of time now though. Um, so didn't get too far. Um, I knew I wouldn't though. Um, didn't have a lot of time. Um, but I've got a little bit of learning to do, a little bit of reading. Um. And then hopefully on the next time, I can have a proper stab at creating a snap um, of this Wales demo app. And we'll see how that goes. But uh, until next time, you take care. Thanks for watching.